Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the website feature. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Click on manage app and you'll be redirected to your overview page. Next click, click on edit under the edit test and go live section. Now to add the website feature click on the add future button in the sidebar then click view all and search website. Click on the future to add it to your app. Once you add it to feature, you will see the feature listed in my feature section where you can edit, customize, and organize your added features the way you want. Now hover over the future and you will have options to show hide the future, edit and customize the future, delete the future, and move the future. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added website page. Click the pencil icon here to edit and customize the future. This is your page or future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the future icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Now let's move to the content section. Here's your website menu name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the website menu icon. You can select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon image. Now in the website link field, enter your website URL. Please note the websites you add must be HTTPS secure sites only. Once you provided the website URL, you can view the simulation screen to check that your website has been added to your app and you can interact with it in real time. Now click on the add more button to add multiple websites. If you want to remove the website, click on remove. Now let's move on to the in-app purchase section and enable in-app for the future. Click the in-app settings icon in the sign menu, then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app purchase for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Now let's move to the advanced settings section. Click this icon here and you will see the options for configuring the website feature settings. By enabling this toggle here, you can let your users open the web page in the default mobile browser window. Similarly, you can enable this toggle to let your users log in prior to accessing the website content. Next, enable the in-app browser navigation toggle and let your users have navigation control such as going back and forward and also for refreshing a page. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.